the 2nd of April 2023. I'm on my 4K Fire Stick. We can see I had Launcher Manager installed on my device, but now the icon is missing. If I now press the select button on that, I get the message that the installed version of Launcher Manager cannot be open. Now, as you guys probably know that Amazon recently made some changes to our devices. So if you had this application installed already, after a couple of hours, you'll notice you get the same message, or maybe after a day of using it, you'll also get the same message. Now, in case you're wondering what that is at the bottom of my screen, that's a real time log right now of what's happening on my 4K Fire Stick. And you can see guys, as I move around, it really just goes crazy, just showing you how much these devices are doing in the background, whether they're checking permissions or making calls back to Amazon, lots of activity is happening in the background. I spoke to Swin Wolf yesterday, who's the developer of Launcher Manager, and without getting into the details, I'm not gonna mention exactly what's gonna happen. I can just tell you that on my device, I can click on this, and this is now working for me once again. Now, I'm not gonna go into the details, as I do believe that Amazon are checking the forums, they do maybe watch these YouTube videos, and if there are workarounds that are discovered, they quickly go ahead and patch them. So let's not go into the details. I can just confirm on my 4K Fire Stick. I can enable the custom launcher. I can then press the home button. I can once again use a custom launcher. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this working on all of your Amazon devices. Once again, take advantage of a custom launcher remap your favorite media buttons and really just take control of your device once again. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Inside Downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in this short code, which is 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, in case you're wondering what those indicators are on the top left and the top right, I was just checking the new version of my TDUK app killer, which will now automatically ignore your VPN privacy door or your VPN monitor door. Whichever one you're using, that will now no longer be killed with my application. And of course, your popular VPNs like Express, like IPVanish, like IVC, like Award VPN, like NordVPN, all of them will now automatically be excluded with the latest version. So I did upload the latest version to the Amazon App Store and the Google Play Store. The approval process normally takes a couple of days. So as soon as that's done, the next time you guys check for an update, the application will tell you there is a new version available and you can get the latest version on your device. Now on my website, just go over to the hamburger menu. Let's click on that. Let's click on tutorials. And fairly uh, near the top, we'll have the launcher manager update. Now again, I'm just not gonna talk about the specifics. We can read some information here. We can scroll down. And if you are impacted by the latest change where when you try to start Launcher Manager, you get that error, you want to now use this version here. So you can click on that. You can install this directly onto your Amazon device, which I will demonstrate now on my Fire TV Cube third generation. I can click on that. It should be around about the same size. I can click on install. Should take just a few seconds. Click on done. Let's now press the home key. I've already got ADB debugging enabled. So I can now go to my applications. And near the bottom, we have the new application here. We can see the icon is working properly. I can click on that. I can once again go to the launcher options. Click here where it says home button hook. Click on that. I can now click on that again. The application will restart. I can now go back into the launcher options, go back to the home button hook. And we can see now it says, when I click here, it says on. 
I'm going to click on the hook state here, set that also to on. So now when I press the back button, go back into the launcher options, scroll down and where it says custom launcher options, I can click on that. And I can now say I want to choose not the launcher manager, but let's in fact go for Let's go for Project IV, click on that. It says Project IV is now your custom launcher. So now on the 2nd of April, 2023, we can see when I press the home button on my device, three, two, one, we are instantly taken to a custom launcher. So, I mean, as I said before, this may be a cat and mouse game. Sween Wolf did say he does have some other options which he is exploring, but for now, we can see on my third generation Fire TV Cube, I'm inside the custom launcher, no adverts, no sponsored content, really nice custom background. I can start applications. I can again press the home button and we can see we are more or less instantly taken into the custom launcher. So. That's pretty much for this video, guys. Um, for the guys that are still here, I do appreciate you watching to the end. Let me just give you a quick tour. If I open up the background absence process list, we can see we have eight applications open in the background, but we can see some of the key ones like the VPN safety dot, that's one, monitor dot, that's two, VPN privacy dot, that's three, project Ivy launcher, that's four, and block harder, that's five. So five out of these eight applications, I mean, of course, nobody's gonna have three different VPN monitor dots unless you got some issues but just for demonstration purposes we can see five of these eight applications people would want to keep running in the background because they are their custom launcher they are their vpn safety dots and also this for blocking adverts so if i now open up the new version of the td uk app killer we can see we have this new checkbox here so i can make a connection i can tick on this box and when I now count the background apps, we can see there's eight. But when I click on four stop, instead of stopping eight, we're hoping you'd only stop two because it's not going to stop the TDUK app killer. So I can click on that again. It says there's now no more applications stopped. So when I click on exit, go back in here, we can see all of those important or those applications that you want to keep running are still running in the background. And you can even confirm on the top left and top right, those monitor dots are still running. So do look out for the latest update on the app stores. Also leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about Amazon and these ridiculous changes that they're making. Are they ever going to stop or is it time for us to jump ship and just leave the Amazon ecosystem? So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.